Let's first start by talking about employees' goals and objectives. Before we start our session, let's define some of the terms that we will be using during the session because there are some technical HR terms that maybe not everybody uh, knows the exact definition. When we talk about performance management, this is the process by which organizations manage their employees' performance and achievements. So this is how we measure and manage uh, everybody's achievements within a company. And we're going to see during the session how we will do that and what is the best approach to do that. When you talk about goals, these are our desired long-term results. So goals are always long-term. While when we talk about objectives, these are shorter term. So we have defined time frame to achieve certain objectives and we want to achieve certain results. I'm sure several of you heard the term KPI, Key Performance Indicator. These are the performance measures to help reach goals and objectives. So it's very important to have uh, uh, good measures in place for us to measure our goals and objectives. Uh, and then competencies, which is the core of human resources. I mean, for me, if we don't have a competency framework in place and a competency database in place, we will not be able to sustain and grow our human resources and our talent management uh, department, if you wish, within an organization. So this is where we have all the skills, the knowledge, and attributes of the performers. So we know what skills do we have? Are we, do we have sales, good salespeople, sales skills, communication, customer service, etc. And corporate values. How are we going to manage all of this if we don't have our own corporate values already defined? How, you know, we, we need to have guiding principles. What is this company founded on? It's founded on transparency, on, on ethics, on honesty, on uh, good communication. And openness. So these are the principles that will support, if you wish, all the performance management of or, the, or, or help you achieve a high performance organization. So performance management can only be powerful if it's measured against goals and objectives. I mean, take, take school, for example. You go to school, you study, you have a textbook, you study, then you go for an exam and you are scored based on what you know. Same thing at work. You go to work, you have a job description, you have a role, you have responsibility, you work, you do your job. But at some point in time, your manager uh, is going to come and evaluate you on how well you've done, how well you've accomplished, how did you reach your results. Because sometimes people work very hard, they reach results. Maybe they're not the exact results that were expected, but they did. They put in a lot of effort, good effort, you know, effective effort. And they need to be rewarded accordingly because they were able to achieve their goals and objectives, maybe not in the best ultimate manner, but they put some effort in there. So the goals and objectives, these are powerful ways for motivating people. I cannot come and tell someone you did wrong or right or you did this you should have done this in your work if I haven't given him a goal. Because goal starts from the beginning. I mean, when, <clears throat> sorry, when you give a person their job description, the goals should have been already in there, okay? But of course, these goals have to be measured. Okay, you tell me I need to achieve this project in um, at the end of the year. But what are the measures that you're going to use to which indicators are going to use to, to measure whether I achieved it properly or not. So, for example, I come and tell my salesperson, you need, the, you need to close, uh, you need to bring a new customer. Okay, he brings in a customer, but is this the right way? No, you should tell him you need to bring in 10 customers per month, let's say. And that's an indicator. He has an indicator or she or he has an indicator they are working towards. The number 10, okay, the measure. 